So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on pelvic wedges. What's the point of pelvic wedges? Um, very simply, I can't tell you how many patients, how many people we've seen just in our clinic here in Nashville that have been dealing with issues where their hips aren't sitting level. So for instance, the left hip could be in a higher position than the right hip, or it could be the opposite. And most of this is really gonna influence the hip placement. Um, so for the pelvic wedges, we're actually using the pelvic wedges to offset that imbalance. And this is gonna be prescribed to you based on the, uh, the Posture Pro uh, pictures. So you would be placing a wedge here, and then you would be placing the opposing wedge on the lower part of the hip contact. And so this is something that we're gonna show you in another video physically on um, our dummy. However, when you do this, you'd be laying face up in bed, using your pelvic wedges to actually place under the high and the low part of the hip. And what this will do is allow your hips to untwist and untwerk. Because the main issue for a lot of us for low back pain is the hips being unlevel, but they don't just go low. One rotates forward and then the other one rotates backwards. So placing the hip wedges like this is gonna allow to untorque or untwist your hip. And then as you untwist the hips, it's gonna help your body using gravity at night to actually level them out. If we can get your hips sitting level, we can get your tailbone sitting level. It fixes the foundation of your spine and helps to alleviate the low back pain, the sciatica, and those low back issues that you've been dealing with. So we're gonna show you now in this next video where this placement actually look, or how this placement actually looks on a physical person, both for the right high hip and the left high hip options.